Thank you, Father. Um, in general, I also have to write out a, a reflection slash uh, evaluation for the seminary about how my assignment went for the summer. And one of the categories that you have to answer is what type of assignment it was. Um, so some people, you know, get signed to summer camps or chancery office or something like that. But mine is a parish assignment. So when I was thinking about how to thank Father and how to thank all of you for my time at the parish, I kind of just began thinking of, well, what exactly am I thanking you for? What is there to be thankful for, for having a parish? So I looked up what parish even means. I looked up the root, the etymology of the word. So it comes from a Greek word, um, paroikos. So it's two words, para and then oikos. Para is like parallel lines, like nearby, close to. And then oikos is, uh, is house. That's where we get economy from. The order of the house is the economy. Um, so when you put those together, you essentially, a parish is the nearby house or the house that has come more precisely near to us. And that of course is the house that God has built for all of us to come to, that we're all invited into his home. I think a lot of times in parish life, um, there's always this kind of tension between who owns the parish. Is it the people in the pews? Is it Father Garrett? Is it Bishop Hine? Is it the Pope? You know, who owns the parish? And the reality is, I think we especially got it today in the gospel readings, is that it's Christ that completely owns the parish. You know, owner, operator, CEO, we are all just here out of receiving a gift that he has, he has given us to have a parish here, to have a community of faith. And really, in reality, that is, is exactly what a parish is. It's a gift that God has given as a response to faith from people in an area, in a specific area. And then that faith is given some governance via the bishop and via the pastor. Um, the other great thing about this particular parish is that we talk in the church about the works of mercy. So there's the corporal works of mercy and the spiritual works of mercy. Corporal works of mercy are like feeding the homeless, helping someone's body. But the spiritual works of mercy, one of them is instructing the ignorant. So no offense, little ones, but you are very ignorant in your young age. So we have a school that we can send you to where you can learn about the ways of God and the ways of the world. And that is such a great work of mercy for our, for our world today and it's desperately needed. So that's a long way of thanking Father Garrett and thanking you um, for your great faith, which has brought about this parish. Um, your faith in the Blessed Sacrament, which brings you here every Sunday, your faith in the forgiveness of sins through, uh, through the power of the priesthood, through the faith in baptism, faith in confirmation. I think 12 or 13 of our, our youngsters were confirmed yesterday by Bishop Hine. So that all takes faith. Uh, so I thank you for that. And above all, we all give thanks to God for giving us this great gift um, of the parish where we can come and believe in God together and proclaim Jesus risen from the dead. So please pray for me um, and thank you all so much.